Welcome to Slab Podcast, episode 76, where the grades matter, there are no rules. How you doing, Professor Oak? 76. I feel like every time we get older and older and older, each each month, each week, just flying by. How we, we are almost at triple digits. That's insane. We are uh, we're going to the moon, baby, just like everything else. So it has been a journey and a half. Here we are, another episode, two weeks in a row weekly episodes we don't miss a week it's amazing hey. <laughs> dan is spinning in his grave right now you you know what's really crazy is in a few weeks it will be our fourth calendar year our fourth of calendar what? year of recording this is our third right Yeah, I, yeah, I think we, stopped, we did. Technically, we did it was like year. the very end of 2022. Last year, we started recording the end of 22. Next year, will be the it'll be the fourth calendar year. The that first is, episode, though, was no, in January of 23. Uh, the, like a, the first video before it was yeah. in December. <laughs> Give, let me have my win. Come on. <laughs> fourth calendar that. year, guy. Fourth calendar year. Weekly episodes, and we're <laughs> on episode 76. <laughs> okay, yeah, that doesn't sound as good now. Fourth calendar year, weekly episodes. <laughs> wah, wah. Whoa, whoa, bad math. Don't, no, somebody don't do the math at home. Yeah. Good Yikes. though. I love that it's still, despite challenges, I really didn't have the time to do this this week. <laughs> Like, I'm on a tough week, but we're still pushing through and making it happen. Even when even when things get tough, we're still we're still still going, still rock and rolling. So, yeah, I appreciate you. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, we got to hold each other a little accountable when we can <laughs> and uh, make it happen. It doesn't hour and a half every week, two hours. It's we can make it work. Just it's like another class. <laughs> it's like an easy class. <laughs> One more. Yeah, yep. one more. Hell yeah. Uh, but a lot of cool things going on in the hobby. Um, but before we get into that, we got a tradition, spicy comment of the week. I'll let you I'll let you break it down for us. Oh, I won, right? I won. I feel like Very I've cool. had a bit in a while. No, I feel like I've had like, a bit of a roll lately. I feel like I've had like a two calendar years. years. I feel like nah, nah, brah. <laughs> so I said I think the team rocket set will be underwhelming. You released in that same conversation details that there isn't going to be dark Pokemon, right? Yeah, you had said that before I said that. So that Oh, I guessed helped. it. What? Oh, I said the spicy comment or I said the same thing. You said the spicy comment, this, that the Team Rocket said it's going to be underwhelming. And then later in that episode, uh, I had mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave you some fuel for your fire, I guess. Yeah, I was going to say, because I, I didn't know there wasn't going to be dog Pokemon. And yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm a, I feel like it should be. In my head, it should be the set of the year. Like it's, I, I think my expectations are so dramatically high for it. That I don't know how it could possibly live up to it. Like for me, it's just going to be underwhelming, no matter what happens, because I'm I'm just so full of this has to be the best set ever. Because the original Team Rocket was the best set ever. It was my set. It was my binder set. And um, I don't know. I don't know. It, there's not even dog Pokemon in it. What what's what is what's it going to look like? You know, what, what's coming to fruition? It was like months and months to go. I think you and I were talking, you were speculating probably April ish, like we're talking spring <laughs> until we get, we're just going into fall, right? We're just hit, hitting, hitting, uh, hitting through fall right now. Like we're still talking, talking about a spring set. So it's, 
I don't know. There's there's going to be releases and and spoilers, and there's going to be speculation, whatever. We've got a couple of pretty good banger sets coming out right now. You know, these next few months already that we're already aware of, and we've seen some pictures on, and we're, we're going to talk about that. But I want I want something special. I don't know what it is. I might feel better closer to the time, but I have a feeling I'm already underwhelmed. Where you at with it? last week i think i had mentioned that i plan on purchasing and going all in on it um so if it's underwhelming i would be shocked so shocked to be honest it would be that was a spicy comment for sure because i think it's completely cooked um (laughs) (laughs) am i overthinking yeah i don't think there's anything to worry about um it's it depends what you're looking for right it's like if for me i'm looking to make money and i'll probably do a binder set is my plan similar same thing i did with 151 made a binder and then i kept a bunch of seals that is probably my play the same thing with these i don't see myself losing money um because i'll hold stuff like i have now um decent amount of time so yeah this stuff's gonna be absolute fuel for the current fire actual rocket gasoline it's going to be crazy okay answer me this 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 uh, this may save the day are we gonna get jesse and james meowth snake ekans are we gonna get coffin are we gonna get lickitung are we gonna get wobbuffet like are we getting the team rocket characters because if they and if they're in cards together and modernized and i haven't seen much glimpses of anything like that lately that relate back to the anime it's been a little while i know we had the uh, you know we had a couple of jesse and james and stuff and we had um some pikachus and uh, and uh and ash you know uh, there's been some closeness these past few years but this could be something that really brings us back. Do you see that happening? Yeah, unless, yeah, for sure. Because I don't see them doing like a fancy Team Rocket DLC for the current games. So I think it is strictly just like paying respects to the old school shit. So Meowth 100%, Wobbuffet. Maybe then we might get some more, because I feel like we've had a lot of Giovanni lately. So yeah, for sure. Even more Giovanni and Persian situation. Okay. Yeah, I could see some pretty awesome. No, would be really cool. Like if they released like the gym cards with like the top down Game Boy Blue version of the gym with the little character at the top. Like if you're like looking at your Game Boy, that'd be pretty cool. Like Giovanni, yeah. you know, like a screenshot of like <sighs> that could get filthy. Um, that's very unique and uh i think it would depend on the pull rates on the success of it as people get bored of it easy or not if it'd be a chase i think a lot of the pressure on on some of these cards because i've seen some really nice artworks that i love a lot just like you know i'm thinking back to celebrations and the full art pikachu that we got i feel like that would have been even more special if it wasn't in so many packs, if the pull rate were harder. Yeah. There might be an element of that to it. You know, you know what I really want to see? This might sound dumb, but I want to see Team Rocket blasting off. I want to see an action card where they're like, I don't know, the hot air balloon exploded or they got fired up in a, into the sky and explosion or like some kind of scene, like a scene, an action shot, like something happening and Team Rocket's blasting off again. Um, and it's called, you know, it's some kind of trainer card or something. I don't know. That would be epic. Yeah, it's pretty shocking, actually, that something like that doesn't exist. Yet. This may be the set. In my head... I'm picturing artworks. I'm trying to think of things that could happen. And I'm I'm trying so hard to bring it back to the anime. 
like so so good i'm just building it up so much in my head and i think that's why i'm worried it's going to be underwhelming because i have all these big expectations and ideas of things they could do and i feel so creative about that set i feel i'm excited like i can literally feel myself getting excited about the set and that's why i'm worried i'm going to be over underwhelmed I'd be pissed if they didn't do a Zapdos. They did it in Gym Challenge, Rocket Zapdos. You, you're going to get a ho -oh from the anime. That's what you're going to get. I'll do a straight kidney punch on them bitches. I'd be so pissed. That would be disrespectful. Like to do it in Gym Challenge, to do it in Team Rocket Returns. I guess it wasn't in the original Team Rocket set. Uh, no, that would piss me off. Yeah, Rocket Zapdos was that's an S tier card. As a as a pre card, S tier. We should do I mean, a one down in history, tier. right? What one down in history? That all work. Yeah, it was. I think it was like super played in the TCG too. I think. It, I think. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was. Um, Echo Base Collectibles will let me know if you ever watch things. Here's a few of you guys that could probably comment on that. that that'd that be good insight. That'd be cool. So, yeah, I think you're absolutely dusted to the brains. Um, quit Spice thinking about it. Comment, right. though. Spice quit comment. Thinking. How much are you buying? If you can go, it gets announced, it's on TCG, whatever. It's at $105 a box. How many are you buying? I think a big part of it for me is how big this set is. I don't love the gigantic sets. Like this one we're about to get, 32 Excuse SIRs. Me. Stop. Like, just stop, Pokemon. Please. Just, like, chill. I get that you, you need to make a chase for everyone, but you don't. Like yeah. this one needs to be Rocket, and there isn't that many things related to Rocket. There's not that many Pokemon or trainers or all works. So, yeah, I'd like I'd like for them to chill out. I'd like for it to be a realistic size set, and I'd probably buy more if it was a smaller set. What is a similar modern era set that you think's ideal comparison i think 151 was a pretty good balance there's a lot of cards and there's some like pretty special ones in there but it didn't feel ridiculous yeah like i f i feel like if i really wanted to finish my binder i could figure it out like i, I could get there um you haven't finished but... that bitch yet no, it's just it's been sad there. I got I got a lot going on, but I, I need to, and and I think I can, and and that's um that's exciting. So I think similar, like it's a full set, like you got a bunch of stuff in there. Um, they they could have a lot of fun, you know. There's a lot of stuff they could do with the with the rocket side of stuff. I feel like they're going to integrate something else with it. There's there's going to be another aspect to it, of course. I mean, I don't know what, what that looks like right now. Um, they're gonna have hats on them. You know what? You know um, what did come to mind? You're saying that they're not going to do um, dark Pokemon, but they might use dark nurse Pokemon. Like an ex like a nurse Pokemon? No, darkness. Like, um, it's my accent. Um, Coffin, Ekans. Like, yeah. Like you know, like dark, like the uh, energy style, whatever, whatever it's called. Darkness. Um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, darkness. So maybe, maybe there could be like a whole darkness section in the set of, cool. of, of those kind of Pokemon with some dark artwork, like some real like Team Rocket style artwork, even though they're not a dark Pokemon kind of thing. Yeah, actually, give them that attribute would be pretty sweet. That could be. See, I'm telling you, I got all these things yeah, going on. Still, so you changing? Uh, you changing your ideas? Or are you still? No, that's why I'm worried. That's why I think I'm going to be underwhelmed because I don't think they're actually going to do all this cool stuff that I've got in my head. 
That's that's what I'm nervous about. Yeah. Because I do want it to be a good set. I want it to be one, like you say, that I want to go and buy a bunch of boxes. I want to try and pull packs. I want to try and fill in binder slots and stuff. Like it's a set in my head. It's one that I want to collect because it was the first one I did, you know, and then Gym Heroes and Gym Challenges and stuff were the ones that followed. Maybe we'll get gym sets right after. Yeah. Maybe they'll follow like back in the day. I don't know. That could be that could be fun. Summer gym set. It would uh it's gonna be a ride, man, I'll tell you that much, to say the least. But there's there's still so much to talk about that's just in our heads. All we know is that something's coming, right? So um yeah, we touched on it. What's your spicy comment for next week? Oh, spicy comment for next week is an auto. Not an auto win, but I just got to say it because the dude's popping. He's popping off, and respectfully so. Uh, the Giratina V from Lost Origins is the best alt art from the Sword and Shield era. Hands down, no contest. No. Now that's pretty spicy. I'm going to say... I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it back to a card too, a sp- very specific card. I'm gonna say this new crystal Brion that's coming out. I think it's gonna sell us a thousand dollars PSA ten. A crystal what? The crystal Brion. The spoiler alert: the new one Brion that's that's hitting. We have coming in our future, and it's uh, one of the very fancy glass hat Umbreons. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a thousand dollar PSA ten. I think it's the the twenty twenty five Moonbreon. You think it's going to be a thousand? Bu- no, just, okay. we'll talk about it next week, maybe. Uh, everybody, go drop a like. Upvote your favorite spicy comic, not Oaks. And a uh, couple of good ones there. Come on. I mean, they we will good. Who the, win- who the wiener is. We will she. Um, we just had a presidential election just then. Uh, we are both huge into politics, uh, both running in our own internal governments here in our own re- respective states. Uh, this is Ron DeSantis, left right man here in, that I'm streaming with um, in, in Florida man. You got Florida man tatted on your back, right? Between your shoulder blades. Yep. So you'll have to show us that here in a little bit. But um, <laughs> so, yeah, the election is over. It is in the past. Thank you, Jesus. I am so done with the ads. The ads is the worst part. The advertisements, them just ripping into each other, not really talking about a whole lot. I'm all set. I'm all set. I'm like, it's crazy how many of them I've seen. I watch too many sports. Sports is my problem. You don't really see them. Is that a big, like watching is that a big one? Live TV. Because when you're watching Netflix and all that shit, you don't see it. The sports, they just get it in there. Every freaking Every break. Thing. God, oh, so bad. Okay. Um. So, yeah, way too much of that. I'm excited it's in the past. I don't – yeah, I, I've I have voted both ways, Democrat, Republican. I'm not I, – I don't care. I do care. I voted. Um, I just – I'm just glad it's in the past and we're on to the next one. It's crazy. Yeah. The, the, I mean, it's done now, right? <laughs> the decision is done. It's it's, it's out. It, it's uh, it's rock and rolling. I think for me, um, I'm an immigrant. <laughs> I can't vote. I'm an literally illegal alien. So um, I don't know how much my say even matters in the discussion. But what I will say is, yeah, it was kind of annoying. Like, I got a lot of emails and text messages. Like, they even left me a voicemail and, like, sent me a video. And, like, I was getting, like, some crazy stuff for a minute there. And all I could think was, like, I literally can't vote for you. I don't I don't, and My kids can't vote for you either. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, and 
the future for me, I think I'm probably I'm probably going to apply for citizenship um, in the next week or two. I'm gonna I'm gonna become American. You heard it here first. Congrats! I'm looking forward to it. Let me know if you need uh, anything on that, but probably not for me. Uh, I'm gonna need some guns. Um, I'm More gonna guns? need a, a truck and um, maybe some more bourbon. I'm just going to go all in. You can buy my truck. I'll sell it to you uh, because I need to buy a new one. That'll work perfect. Done. I'm rock and roll. I'm ready to go. What else do I need? I'll I'll meet you halfway. Yeah. I need need a copy of the uh, all the amendments. I I I need that all written down on the wall just so I can follow along, make make sure I understand what's happening. You just got to watch this thing called the uh, Schoolhouse Rock Funk. Like, uh, learn how it's like, I'm just a bill on top of Capitol Hill. Like Is that, that the little guy sat on the step? I feel like I watched that when I was a little kid. That's like yeah, old, right? You need right? to watch it again. Okay. It is everybody probably in America needs to watch that again <laughs> and uh, relearn how to be an American. Um, that I mean, is. I- I have to do my citizenship test, so I, I, I'm going to have to study that stuff too. So I feel 85 percent of Americans would fail that test. Yeah, I looked. I looked at some of the questions, and I was like, "I've been here 12 years, and I'm still like, yeah, I have no, I no idea." I you'll know. have to. We'll do a segment, and you'll give me a few of these questions. Some of the tougher ones, a couple of the easier ones, and just see how American I am. <laughs> Yeah, we should do. We should pain through it together. Yeah, yeah, that'll be I think, interesting. I think what's tricky with the citizenship test, which people may not know about about this, a little bit of education. I know this isn't slab stuff, but this is oak stuff. There is a hundred and fifty questions you have to learn, um, which is already crazy because they only ask you three. So you have to learn all 150 to be able to answer just the three of them, uh, which is obviously is very difficult. But also the questions are live. So they're not things about stuff that's happened in the past only. They're also things about right now. So a question, say if I was going for my test next week and I was having my exam you know, with the, with the person live at USCIS, they could ask, which president just got nominated for next year, you know, who got nominated as president for 2025. That would be an example of live one that you'd need to know. You have to keep up with current times, but then it's also who's the new governor of Florida, who's the person that got voted to the Senate. Like it's a lot of political live action stuff that you have to keep on top of. So sometimes you learn the answers but during between learning them and getting the date for your actual test, it changes. So then you have to re- you have to like keep on top and make sure you're learning what it changes to too, because you have to get all three right out of the 150 you have to learn. So a little bit a little bit stre- stressful, a lot of involvement. But I'd imagine there's quite a few of those that a lot of us wouldn't know, honestly. No. I like guess they're pretty tricky. Some of the questions I looked at them before, and I was like, <laughs> "No chance!" Like they're not, they're not gonna let me in at all. And I have to do an English test. The irony of having to do an English test and being English is yeah. unreal. That's pretty phenomenal. That's uh, that's full circle. Unreal. Yeah. And I, I mean, it's what it is. I just got to do i guess to check the boxes um but yeah so that's that's up and coming back to the election uh i guess we have a new president coming in a new old president coming in i feel like people have been very emotional this year about biden and harris and trump as a whole and what i would like for next year and moving forward is people just to just to do what the right thing for yourself and others. Word of wisdom from Oak. 
Yeah, that's some good with good wisdom. Just uh, do you vote or uh, civic duty or uh, yeah. or right? Good times. I I was able to vote in like a matter of two minutes. It was phenomenal. Be able to walk in there, grab my sheet because I did it Monday. It was so nice, so nice. It's awesome that you don't just have to rush in and do it on the same day. You have a, like a whole period leaving up. Yeah, that's a huge benefit change. Great thing that they're doing for sure. Yeah, getting away from just a single election day. That shit was dark. So very good. Yeah. But you know I what little... I learned? Just before we move on to that too, you know what I learned this week is that the voting aspect isn't run federally. It's all run by state. Which I had no idea about that at all. I mean, I, I, like I said, I've only been here for a few of them, but the 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 voting um, administration of it, like where it happens, when it happens, the start, the finish, how you do it, that kind of stuff. The all the policies and the laws and everything around it are at state level. Yeah, I was yeah. like, it's the president. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Like how? How does the federal government not have control over that? But it, it they give guidance apparently, and it makes sense. But every state just has their own way of doing it, their own system, their own processes, and and set up for it. And I was like, wow, that's super interesting. I I, I don't think I ever knew that. Yeah, you'd think it'd be a little more regulated because um, yeah. there is. You know what state it was. Florida, I thought that a majority of their ballots were not like in person on voting day. It was like absentee early shit. So, yeah, it, it's different every state you go to. Um, Wisconsin, they had one of their doors was open on one of their scanners or something yesterday. So they had to recount the 100,000 absentee ballots. I'm like, oh, God, what the fuck are we doing, dude? Like, you're fired. Get the fuck out of my building. What are we? What yeah, are we... The, the there's always going to be errors. And, um, yeah, leaving it at state level, that I guess holding people to consistency and and expectations is a little trickier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's clear. But that, that blew my mind. I was like, how? Like, how is that run at state level? Oh. But it is. It works. I mean, it worked. Like, we got a new yeah. president. We figured it out. Yep. It was a landslide. There was clearly uh, no miscalculation, I'm sure, in that, with the that difference that happened. That's the yeah. way it goes. I mean, it looked numbers-wise like he crushed it, right? Yeah, I would say. I can't remember the last time somebody had over 300 electoral votes. I don't know, but I'm sure it's happened, but that's pretty effing good. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a very strong one. Um, but I also, I, I'm not sure that Kamala wanted to run for president. I know she was vice and like Biden stepped down and there was that like, okay, like you're running now kind of thing that, that, because originally it should have been Biden, right? That's what we were all planning on being the Democrat um, person. And then he like stepped down and it's like, okay, she come come on. And she's like, okay. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a bit of a weird, like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know if I know the full extent of what happened, but it was a bit of a weird setup all in all. Yeah, it was pretty rough uh, that he, yeah, it was <laughs> right after. Very soon after he did his only debate with Trump, he's like, that's when he dropped out of the race. Um, that's right. Yeah, it was pretty He soon probably after. got advised by his team, like, hey, bud, I think we're all set. Like, you can go they to the both. senior they, home now. They were both awkward in that debate. That yeah, wasn't was a an awkward fun debate. debate. But, yeah. Yeah. Interesting, but. Yeah, so good luck on all of that. Look forward to doing the separate segment, and that'll be fun. So we've been playing a, a video game for the last week. We had reported it was too early of a report on it last week. We had barely touched it. Um, TCG Pocket, been playing a bunch of it, opening a bunch of packs. Um, what do you think? What, what, one week in, is it uh, 
pushed into the side or how you feeling about it? Um, I am. Um, I'm touching it a couple of times a day. I'm there. I'm in it. I'm playing. I'm tinkering. I'm opening packs. I'm trying to do the challenges and getting involved. I like that there's stuff to do, but I, I also like that there isn't like time constraints and it's easy and simple and you, you can kind of follow it and do it when you want. There's, there's a they've made it very casual, yeah. but also with missions and objectives. And I like that. I can get stuff done in there and reach goals and accomplish things, build decks, have fun, you know, that kind of stuff, but very casually. Like I don't feel like there's any stress or pressure. And uh, I know we talked previously about it, but I feel like there was a little bit of pressure on the TCG Live game, the, the you know, the full game of, of Pokemon um, digitally because the time it took in and having to build like a full extensive deck and you know every piece works, you know, got, you, you got to build out what they're going to be doing with their full extensive deck. And this dumbed down version, I hate using that phrase, but it is, it, it is a dumbed down version. It works. Like for me, yeah. like it it works, and and it seems more impactful to figuring out and planning and understanding steps ahead of what other people are doing. I don't feel as reactive. I feel like I'm I can be more proactive and smart and methodical in what I'm doing. I can go in and play the the AI, the robots, the game, whatever you know. Before I play live, people go in and play, practice my deck play against the computer is this working is that working oh i need to retreat or i need to keep that one on the bench to build his energy up and then i can release him and th there's just like a few things that i've been playing around with that i don't feel like i could ever do i, I never felt like i really got the chance to build out and spend that time and get build up build that skill and expertise with the tcg live and i like that i like yeah. it I like it. I like the whole thing. The the only thing I will say before you go, I will say um, I'm still a little confused on. Um, you use the word currency, like the the little icons, the currencies of like what does what and what can I use for. Yeah, I'm I'm building numbers and all these things, and I don't even know what to do with them. And some of them I I'm using them. I don't know if I should be. Like I'm, I feel like I need to read through and spend a bit of time figuring that out a little bit but but other than that the game game wise mission wise and and uh going through the different tiers and stuff i'm i'm loving it yeah yeah and you you're ahead of me so i i, I value your opinion what where, where are you at with it similar touching it a couple times a day um i think i have a pack available soon because i did so my buddy told me and i wasn't gonna but i I did the free two weeks yeah. premium thing where you can't you can cancel it. So my the way I've always treated phone games, uh Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, Speed Duels, uh the few I've played, those all for me are free to play. I will not typically put any money into a single game. Um, yeah, it's more yeah. so just passively playing it. I'm not trying to be Muhammad Ali of Pokemon Pocket. I am not planning that. And it would burn me out of it quicker, I feel like, doing that. Rip if I went and dropped a hundred dollars and ripped a bunch of packs the day it came out, it would have burnt me out of it pretty quick. I would have got a bunch of shit. Like now I know I I, I don't even have a freaking Charmeleon yet. Son of a bitch. Like, what are we doing? Um, so it's there is a grind to it, and I enjoy that being on a phone app and i know i'm gonna i got like i still open clash royale that game's been out for i don't even know how many years that game's been out um so but just the slow freaking grind I, I enjoy it the game's clean seamless no bugs really good like you could do a battle really quick inside of it i like the simplicity of 20 cards in a deck you can literally have 10 different cards make up your entire deck which makes that yeah. way nicer um, for my little pea brain 
than regular Pokemon because like 60 card decks is just insane. Like there is just you could have four copies of every card, but still it's you have a lot of different cards. You gotta it's you gotta grind. calculate that stuff in your head, oh right? Like it's, like it's too much. To get really good at those games, like at Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and those, you like you gotta know the decks in and out. You gotta know what your opponent's gonna have. Like limiting it to 20 cards makes this way more there's a lot more RNG to it, which is okay. I like I don't mind RNG games for phone phone card games because you can do it. You couldn't yeah. really do RNG with regular Pokemon and stuff, so I enjoy some mm-hmm. RNG. And yeah, I uh, look forward to opening my packs, and I pulled the freaking the super awesome Charizard yesterday and today, two days in a row. That's <laughs> nuts. Um, super exciting. And I was able to, I recorded it. And like the second time or third time I've ever recorded a pack opening, and I pulled the Charizard. So it, it hits. It hits pretty damn good still. Like it's not me pulling the 151 Charizard out of the pack, but damn, I tell you what. I was pretty friggin' excited. I wish I had, like, because when you do a screen record, you can record just media or actual, like, my voice also. And I just did the phone you audio. Can? Yeah, my phone I can. When I screen record, I can also do my voice. Um, So, yeah, it's, uh, unfortunately, I didn't click that button because it would have heard me getting lit up. Um, Pretty sad, actually. But it was pretty awesome. It was a good event. That's that is exactly what we wanted from this app though, right? Yeah. We wanted it to feel like we're pulling. That was how they presented it. You're going to pull packs. You're going to open packs. You're going to have chase cards. You're going to build decks. It's going to feel more like the actual real experience you get in real life. with. with it does. Stuff. Yep. But I'll tell you what, after I pull a cool card, I go put that bitch straight in my binder. I go to the binder. I'm like, all right, where's my cool card? Yep. That's in the good. That's in my, my hit. I call it my hits binder. It's in the fucking hits binder. You best believe that shit. Yeah. Got to be flexing and on them boys. You can even before you open the pack, turn the pack around and open it from the back. I hate that. No. Do the freaking you doing a freaking pack trick or whatever in the freaking. I don't like having to flip. There's too many other prompts already to move <laughs> the cards around and put them in the freaking thing and then click on them again. Yeah, I think I think there's gonna be updates to that side of stuff. It feels a little clunky still, and we touched on that last week. When yeah, that was like very first thoughts was it we felt clunky on that, and I still feel that way. So it's definitely an issue. They're gonna get feedback on that for sure. Yeah, I don't feel it as much now because I only open whatever it is two three packs a day now. So it's just because you're used to it though. Yeah, the, that that's that is it is still an issue. Like that's still that's a it's a very valid concern that you have there. So, but yeah, no, the game's cooking. Twelve million dollars. We put the note there in four days. Not a bad start. Yeah, they're gonna be all right. I think they're gonna be all right. I'm curious love, how fast they unload new sets, though. Yes, and I'd I'd love to know if it aligns with anything. Like, which, is it going to align with, um, I don't know, it, it's called Apex or something right now. Is the next one like Bravo or something? And um, it releases on the same day as the next set. And then the next one releases on it, the actual, you know, in card set, that kind of stuff. I, I, I'm I'm curious if you're going to follow any kind of like timeline. Is it going to be like a monthly thing, a quarterly thing? Is it going to follow the real, real life sets? What's that special? What's that going to look like? Um, right now, it's all just one set. Like We're on first set of the first generation, right? Like, yeah, this is it's the time. one set, but they're different cards in each pack, which annoyed the living shit out of me. Like, it took me, like, 48 days to realize I will never pull a Pikachu or a Mewtwo out of the Charizard pack. Like yeah, I'll never pull the Mewtwo yeah. out of the Charizard pack. Like it just like or the, I won't pull the Charizard out of the Mewtwo pack. So there was there's some nuances that I didn't realize. I thought it literally was just three different pack arts because of the same set because they all say fucking Apex on them. I didn't really think that they were different subsets, kind of. Um, so as a 
I don't know what the intention is there. I don't know who thought that out. Some dumbass. Yeah, maybe, maybe just to me. like give a bit of variation out of the gate and not feel like it's only just one thing, you know, one set. It's kind of like giving you three sets right away, which is good, but they called it the same set and it goes into the same binder set and it's yeah. too there's just still too many clunky things I don't, I don't know i don't know what the the medium to long-term plan is with all that stuff yeah and do you spin the freaking thing of packs and i only ever pick the front pack the first one oh, that no. up, i'm open i just spin and stop turn it around and then hit yeah, I just completely that's why you keep pulling random. dog shit. Must be. You got to get the front pack. I'm telling you, do that for the next two days. You're gonna get okay. a hit. I'm just gonna do that then. Because just rip I'm, right into the front one. Literally, I said I said to you on Discord that I keep pulling needle rounds, and then I, I then I literally went on to. The, I was like, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show them exactly what I'm talking about. I recorded it. I put it. I put in fucking need arena or whatever it was, and I was like. Every pack, like I just can't pull a good hit. Every single pack, I'm just playing. You got sand like true with that bitch. Like you're you're chilling. You got sand true. You'll be all right. Anyways, I'm excited. I'm It'll be good. I'm looking forward to the trading and how that whole thing will work. I'm guessing my thought there's more on to come, that, right? What, there's, what? there's more to come with with the trade in, and I, I I feel like there's just more to come. I'm I'm anticipating it. Yeah. My thought is trading is going to be another currency. You're going to have so much stamina to make a trade. I think that is the requirement in Pokemon Go. There is like a, a dust or something you need to have X amount of to make a trade. This will be the same, uh, which kind of hurts. But at the same time, people buy and sell Pokemon and Pokemon Go through eBay. That was seen, I think it was in this podcast, like it's it's a real thing people are doing. So even if the dust is that expensive, like people make it make sense. And they, shit's wild that th that'll actually happen in this game too, guaranteed. So if not more so. I hope they make it easy. I like the casual easy. aspect. It'd be too easy because then you're, yeah. I mean, I guess you could. You want to make money though, right? Like the goal is to make money. Like the, the, that's yeah. why there's subscriptions. That's why you can buy this and that at the store. You know, it's, it's pay to play um, for the most part. But but there there is a there's an easy casualness that you can just play against your friends. You know, yep. keep 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 it simple. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. I, I'm optimistic with it for sure. Certainly. Um, Did you ahead. hear? You see the pictures of the new CGC slab for Pokemon coins? Totally did, and I'm going to pull it up right now. What? Why did they make it card size? To utilize and not create another skew number. No, because it's a different slab. It's not the same slab. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But the labels are the same. I, I What are your thoughts? They're like that that should be a square in my eyes. What? It the is slab. a square. It's a rectangle. No, it should be a square. Like it should be a third at least smaller than that. Shorter height-wise. It just feels so big. It's, it's like it 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 honestly minimizes how cool the coin looks because they're, they're both pretty cool coins. I think I have that Mew actually. They're they're pretty cool coins, but they just don't look that great in that. They just look lost. I don't know. I don't love it. Do you like them? Yeah. Way like I picture the PSA one, those are dog shit. Like, no, not even oh, not even we are 
we're on completely different pages. I am um, this every day of the fucking week. Oh, no, no, chance. no, look no at how way. Beautiful these like look at the freaking labels, like the PS. What are they? PCGS or some shit? I don't know what they're called. But... You're, you're trolling me. Oh, you've been a troll. I'm not fucking trolling. You're this, missing. like, you could stack them on your cards. That's huge. Like, given. Like, if you're going to make it two-thirds of size, I'd freaking lose my shit. Oh. Like, really? Now I can't stack my F and my slabs together? You're killing me. This is phenomenal. This is the full yeah. label. No. It, it just it kicks PSA's version right square in the dick. And it's I'm not absolutely even not. You are... You, <laughs> oh, man. You... You had way too much gin tonight. Frickin', Mr. The PSA Grievous. slabs this freaking big, as big as my earbuds. Like it's perfect. That's what I want. It's a coin. It's not a card. I don't want it in a card slab. No. That I like the renovation. That, that looks like copying and pasting. That's lunacy, is what that is. They are lunatics. It's already plastic. Being graded and encapsulated in plastic, might as well just add some more fucking plastic. Okay, we need we need comments. You guys need to get in the comment section right now and like back me up here. That like these slabs look ridiculous, right? Tell us, do they look ridiculous or is Josh right and I'm dusted? They're like, fucking. Is... They're clean, dude. They're clean. I, I was know. not expecting you to go that direction with you. I, I like them. I never in my life wanted a coin slab until now. I'm not joking. I'm so gonna go coins. look up Zapdos coins and Diglett coins now. I have a whole box just full of coins. Those are scratched though. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Is it this one? Oh my god, so many. I don't. I don't yeah, have any Diglett or Zapdos coins, but if expensive. somebody's got extra, hit me up. I might be buying. Hey, these are just my these are just my oversized, a few oversized ones. I got a whole I got a whole bunch of them. And I also feel I feel like it's gonna be easier to submit these to CDC than what it is to submit a coin to PSA. I don't know. Oh, I'm sure. Not yeah. speaking from experience, but EV. Those are huge. Yeah, this is the oversized one. That's another reason they might be using these slabs because you can use the same slab. Size that makes sense. For jumbo coins, medium coins, oh, gold, gold Charizards. I'm trying, see if, I'm trying to see if I have a. How much is it to grade coins at PSA? I feel like it's like $30. Yeah, it's not it's not um like on a on the standard price point. Sorry if I'm being noisy. Is it here. gonna be a play for you at CGC if you can grade these bitches for eight eighty? Oh, I'm not I'm probably not gonna grade any. Nothing? No, I just no. I just like them for the I love this Dragonite one. That's a cool one. See that? That's, that's cute. A 10. It's a 10. That's actually in pretty good shape, yeah. So, uh, got some sparkly ones. Got the old uh, Detective Pikachu. Yeah, I got, I got stacks and stacks and stacks of that stuff. Yeah, these, these are the old, these are the vintage Pikachu coins I got from old school, from OSP. You want to see it? A vintage Pikachu coin. He's the man for you. Ooh. I'm looking up graded Pokemon coins. One second. Hold my beer. Graded Pokemon coins. Oh, I don't know. Oh. That one's going to be. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. The label beautiful? looks so effing brutally bad. Like, I thought regular PSA slabs abbreviated too much. <laughs> this is it's absolutely F. tiny. It's so small. Yeah. They're tiny. The, but I, I kind of like that, though. 
Shut up. Like, have you seen? Have you seen it? It 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 makes me feel like like coin slabs, like actual coin slabs. They're small. They're small little squares, tiny little things. Uh, the CGC one is like the Greyhound bus, and the PSA coin ones are like the short bus. I'm the sorry to say scat, it. The local scat bus. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty effing bad. Really cute Pikachu coin, eighty dollars on that bitch. Oh, absolutely. there are some expensive Pokemon coins. What the fuck are we doing? I have too many. Hey, you know what? Do you remember the the old Art box stickers. Let me show you this real quick. I got so much stuff. You remember these? The old art um, boxes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those are dope. They grade those at CGC. Yeah. This this is this is that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. That's, the that's one. what that's where we're at. I think I gave that to somebody recently. Damn, oh, really? I might have gave it a oh no, I don't remember who I gave it to. Maybe it's old school Pokemon some time ago. You gave me um uh a very uh, this is the gold set. You gave me a variation of one of the art box stickers in a Pikachu slab that you graded. That's pretty cool. I have it in my little box next to me down here. That's cool stuff. It so is I, so I know you do some kind of because you have sealed product behind you but what are your thoughts and pokemon investing that whole aspect of the hobby is there are you in or are you not um, why not <laughs> kind of i think for me i'm i'm almost like the transverse or whatever the phrase is I, i'm like the, the other um, side of the chart from where you're at, not the opposite side, but the like the other direction, I guess, of what you're doing. So you've been there's a, there's a couple of things that you've gone big in to hold, and like there's a, quite a few things you've bought from one particular set or one particular product yeah. from a set. What what I've been doing is little and often so i've mined a couple of boxes of each thing uh, so yeah. a couple of this a couple of that and then if it's something that i'm personally attached to i double it so if i feel like this is a good one for me like this is one that i really want to get if i have some kind of emotional attachment i double it so with surgeon sparks i doubled it with this prismatic set that you know the the evolution set that's coming out i doubled it Team Rocket, probably going to quadruple it. You know, there's like, I feel like I've gone a little bit bigger on that. I went big on um, 151, Scarlet and, Violet, Scarlet and Violet Base. And what was the other one that I just sold out of? I had a bunch of boxes. Um, was it a Darkness Ablaze or something? Maybe not. That was the Japanese one. That um, There was a recent one that I, I just everyone just went crazy i, I want to say it might have been Poldy or evolved i forget which one it was but it, um yeah i think it i think it was Poldy or evolved people like people just sold out and um I, i've gone a bit bigger on yeah i've kind of doubled up on some of the ones that i've that i've enjoyed and 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 personally i think this is a good set you know just despite whatever printing numbers, whatever other people are buying, whatever, if I think it's nice and I think there's cards in there that, that look good and make sense, I've gone gone a little bit higher on it. Um, someone just spent $115 buying a Scarlet and Violet base from me today. I have it packaged up there to ship out tomorrow. So one base is popping up right now. Like, popping That's up. That's crazy. Yeah, so... Um, there's there's money there's money to be made that's for sure but i don't know if i'm viewing it as an investment in like long term money wise i think it's more just like an investment in i'm throwing casually just throwing 
money into something that I think is cool and will probably do well. And maybe I'll sell some and open some, play with some, whatever. Like I've been collecting the, the you know, we talked about it last episode, the, the ETBs from each set from Scott and Violet because of my regrets from Sword and Shield. But also I've been actually really liking this generation. You know, a lot of the artworks, I think it's the best ever generation for artwork. Maybe that's a spicy comment. I don't know. But I, I think the quality of the artwork and the scope of the artwork, the, the variation in artists and their styles, trainers, much more effort the past few years into trainers than ever before. Yeah. And and um, the full art style cards. I just feel like we're at the we're at a peak and I don't know if we're at the peak. We're at a peak right now. I don't know if it's the peak. It feels like it keeps getting better and better and better for artwork, which I think is a good thing. I don't know. Where are you at? What like you're you you bought into a couple of sets, waiting to double up, now move into something else. You I feel like you're being more methodical and less like Lexa Daisy about it, a bit more calculated. Where you at currently right now? What, what's happening? I'm wondering why I'm not calling my mom and telling her to invest all of her liquid money into Pokemon. I feel like I'm being doing I'm being a money in it, son, right? Being a bad yeah. son. I I feel like why didn't I can send her a text with a link to Pokemon Center when the ETBs drop saying buy four of these? Like I feel like I'm not telling enough people that I care about and I'm could be yep. making some of these people some money free tendies. Um, but honestly, I feel like I could, on top of my own liquidity, like plug it all in. Like, I'm tell you what, fuck, cash out, refi the house. Like, let's go, baby. I'm all in. Like, it's crazy. The I see this going extremely well. Like, us, all of us that are in this now, um, you're going to do all right. I feel like we're in early enough. There's not a ton of people that do it. Um, there's obviously we've been, a lot of us have been making YouTube videos four years, five years. Pokemon investing is newish in the last three ish years. That's not a lot of time. There's not a lot of, even now, like we say, all these people are doing it. There's still not a lot of people doing it. <laughs> there's not, there's not a lot of people. Um, investing in this stuff it's a little more people quick burning and turning which is why you see rusty he had announced he puts 40 of 40 cases of each set or there's a few there's people that do this but it's not a lot of people um so it'll be interesting to see how it develops because more and more people are going to do it it's going to keep growing as people keep seeing these people make these returns and make these videos about how much You've made 28% profit in six months, like Dan did on his palette of assorted BS. He didn't even try hard, right? He's not, he didn't put all 151 on that palette. He put bad set one, bad set two, bad set three. Like he didn't, he didn't do it like I would have done it. I would have just went, all right, here's a palette of Lost Origin. Here's a palette of 151. All right, I, I got the good ones. Uh, yeah, so I I don't know. I feel like it's it's a weird time. We're gonna look back and be like, wow, those are the those are the founding fathers of like <laughs> these people didn't know how good they had it. They had easy tons of money sitting from. I'm bullish as shit on all this shit. So um, even though I just sold a bunch of my Zapdos cards, I obviously I'm it's not Sayonara. I'm like this is this shit's wild still. So. I'm excited. I got I got a couple of, I got a couple of responses on on that. So I think first of all, I think that there are more people holding on to stuff than ever before. I think there are people. Yeah, it's investing. I think people are realizing that stuff gets special and sought after, and and goes up in value a little bit even within the current generation i mean selling etb for 115 
is ridiculous. Like that shouldn't be happening in a current gener generation right now. Um, and even with these pre-orders, you know, for this this next evolution set we're getting, the things are getting a little bit spicy there. Um, but yeah, I, I just think in general, more people than ever are doing it. But I also think there's more people than ever chasing the cards in that stuff and, and running after modern stuff, um, which yep. leads into the second part, which is I, I didn't think we'd still be this hot. I didn't think the iron would still be this hot this far in. I thought two years ago things were going to die off and calm down and chill out, and it would be like we'd be left with the dust. Like with the, the dust podcast gonna... just right off into the sunset. I thought the dust would have settled and like we'd be the Pokemon people that like are really into it would be left. And we'd be trading and buying and selling and things would be more chill. Just how Dan and and uh OSP and you know all the Rusty, how they all talk about back in the day, like pre-boom, what things would be like. I genuinely thought we'd get very close to how the pre-boom would be. Not Exactly, because there's still a lot more eyes in the game. There's a lot more things happening. I didn't think the iron would still be this hot, yeah, this far in. I mean, you just talked then and said years. I mean, literally been years, and we're still seeing record multi hundred dollar prices for slabs that are modern, like this year slabs hitting for multiples of hundreds of dollars. Never saw that happening. Never saw that continuing to grow and still be hot and and, and chasing and fire and rockets to the moon. It is it's still it's still rock and rolling, um, and and that gives me very opportunistic and optimistic vibes moving forward in these next few very special sets we've got coming out. I think these are the these sets of Scarlet and Violet. These next few, the, the, it feels like this is the 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 time to get in and jump in if you can do anything relating to investment. Yeah, I'm all about calculated risk, downside risk. Um, yeah, and I've put some fucking thought into taking 401k, taking my massive penalty, and the downside risk of like a hundred dollar booster box dropping down to. Eighty dollars versus going up to one seventy. Right. I like my F and odds. I'm telling you, it's it's scary. Um, I wouldn't want to be doing it two years from now. But right now seems like a kind of a crazy time. Um, but that's what I thought two years ago. I that's, know. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Like, like I thought exactly. it, two years ago. In two years' time. This would be a much more chilled out version of what it is. Much more. Things are crazy right now. Yeah. What I don't uh, what's going on? I, yeah, I don't I know what's going on. I think there's huge opportunity for all of us, all anyone watching this, if you're not doing some hodling of some sealed products and stuff like that, like you're not thinking straight. You need to reassess and what you're what you're doing, um, which is part of the reason why I was getting out of slabs and some of that stuff. But I, I still have a shit ton. But um, yeah, it's... you know, you know, you know, when you look on eBay of this generation's ETBs, they're not. I remember in Scotland Violet, uh, sorry, in Sword and Shield pre Scotland Violet, some of the ETBs were cheaper on eBay than MSRP. Right, and that was like standard. It was normal. Like you could buy Sun and Moon base, and like some of these other ETBs, you could buy them cheap. There's very few Sword and Shield ETBs now that are like way underpriced and way undercut on eBay. Yeah, things are very strong, especially when you talk about Pokemon Center ETBs. Like they're all fantastic. Like it's almost as though you can't lose money. Maybe I'm being a little bit too optimistic, but like Scarlet and Violet feels very strong. Everything that I'm seeing right now, I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, 
But I feel really good about Scarlet and Violet right now, despite how much negativity got pulled into it. Yeah. Yep. I'm. I mean, I'm buying everything. Like I, I got, I got boxes of everything. I, I feel great about it. Primarily ETBs. Yeah. Yeah. How many of the prismatic set did you go in on? You said double or something, right? I think I did four. Yeah. we I'm not getting crazy. I'm not buying like cases and cases of this stuff. But like, if I can make a bit of money on the, on a couple of extra that I buy to pay for the ones that I want for me. Hell yeah, it's free money. Literally, I'm I'm like paying for my hobby for free. That's the goal. That's what that's what we want to happen. Um, and there's fun cards in it. Maybe I'll open a box. You know, it's fun fun stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. I got. I haven't purchased a Pokemon Center ETB in a minute, but I did for the Evolutions one. Um, I think I've bought. Every one of them for like the past three years. That's a lot. Yeah, I have not done that, which obviously it's proven to be a very wise decision because those are either better margins and booster boxes or the same, if not, yeah, right below it, just right there. But it's the Pokemon Center ones are cooking for sure. Still, still, even after that time, like still right now, you can buy them and hold them for a year and probably still yeah kick off what do you think about how did we look this time last year because this was i don't even know what was the pokemon set that was releasing was it crown zenith uh early um party and fates was it this time last year i don't know Um, Paradox Rift expansion released November 3rd, 2023. So, this was not, we were not in the same mode at all November last year. Um, Yeah. This is, yeah. James just made a video. um, Moving into big things right now. Yeah. James was just literally made a video about this being normal or could be normal for Q4 and we won't know until Q1 next year to see if it's really something special. I don't think we need to wait. I think, I think it's pretty, pretty clear that maybe Q1 won't be as high as this Q4, but this Q4 is gotta be booming compared to last year's Q4. Like it's gotta be, two three x any expectations what was going on so i don't know thought that was an interesting comment he made yeah the um i feel like stuff good sets and good cards pulls people out of the woodwork too yeah i don't think you can underestimate the opportunism that 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 people will, will draw out money yeah. and you know and jump into stuff if, if they know there's something exciting you know you you mentioned in the uh i think paradox rift like i don't think anyone felt like they needed to get back into the hobby because of paradox rift but if you're talking about you know this evolution set and a team rocket set that's like i feel like there might be some people that aren't normally playing around with that stuff like want to probably play with it and maybe sports people yeah because i feel like sports card people will dabble in there a little bit and they understand when something's good you should probably get into it like there's there's something there because it's the same in sports like if they they know there's a there's a guy to chase a bunch of his cards are in that set or in that you know uh, that pack or that whatever um they'll go in and it's this it's the same theory it, it's it's just it's just small if if i was going to say anything it, it would have advice for these next few sets i would buy surgery Spogs, i would buy this new evolution set that's coming out and i'd buy the new rocket set that's coming out and just buy a little bit extra play with it have fun open a couple of packs open a box whatever but buy extra and just 
move it to the side, forget about it for a little bit. I think things are gonna be they're gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a fun one. Yep. Um I just did a quick check on you were talking the about sports and different things. I just did a yeah. Look up of uh, Victor Webanyama's base rookie from the Prism set because I remember doing like a comparison to the Gray Felt Hat Pikachu because they they were both coming out around the same time, um, and they were similar price raw for a minute there. They were 60, 70 bucks, seventy bucks or whatever they got down to, oh, and God. The, oh, the God. I know exactly what you're gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, the Victor Webb and Yama card now in a PSA 10 is 95 bucks. Um, and the uh, gray felt hat Pikachu is obviously dunking all over the absolute effing shit out of the Victor Webb and Yama card. So, but but just, they still they still understand that that was a good card, and that card could have gone to 20 bucks, right? Like, they still knew, even, even with your comparison, they knew that's a good card. And the 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 Pikachu is a good card, and they're gonna go up. Like they went up, like whatever, whatever you know, throw it in a in a slab or raw or whatever. The theory, the theory still holds strong. We Their just, theory, the theory of knowing if something's good is gonna go up. But I, I think for us, we have. See, we have the um, uh, the advantage, I guess you would say, of Pikachu is always Pikachu. But Pikachu isn't like the Pikachu of the season or of the year or what doesn't get injured. Or, there isn't like riders or caveats on it. It's if it's a good artwork or if it's a good set or whatever, that's when it kicks off. Like there could be a Pikachu in five years that could kick off. It could die for the next few years. Whereas there's some sports people that they just had the best season. That's it. Done. Game over. It, it, it's not apples to apples, but the theory of knowing something special and it'll probably be something good. I think that rings true. Through them. There's a lot of sports people buying Pokemon boxes and ETBs and boosters and stuff because they know like it makes money when it's good. Yep. So do in the just looked up the population of the Victor Webby, twenty two thousand seven hundred thirty two PSA ten. So it's wow, it's not quite the gray felt hat Pikachu, which is crazy. Those are 30, 30, yeah, thirty thousand or thirty nine. I think it's thirty thousand. I I don't remember the Pikachu, but I I definitely thought there would be would have been more of the Pokemon. Yeah, so a very popular player still um, getting absolutely cooked. Hopefully, sports people will learn that Pokemon's where it's at. So you don't got to try as hard. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't looked that one up in a minute. I'd be curious to know how many players in the last five years have had cards and how many Pokemon. Like a just a number side by side. Oh, bajillions! Because all the different colors and it's insane. There's too many. No, different. I mean I don't mean like um, you know all the different very vari yeah variations and stuff, just or people. even even with Pokemon like you know reverses and all that. Like literally, just how many of of each they got? Because there's what a thousand Pokemon. But how many freaking sports people are they? I mean, a football team has like 350 people playing on a field every time they play. Like, there's got to be so many sports cards. Their market is much bigger than Pokemon, surely. There's got to be a much bigger market, even if it's less volatile, even if it's cheaper slabs or whatever. There's still got to be a bigger scope, like a wider range, surely. There's 450 unique players in the NBA. Okay, so NBA, we have um, NFL. A shit ton more in the NFL. 
like four X. Okay. Players in hockey. Like the this literally four X. Literally four X. Yeah. Seventeen hundred for football. Then hockey would be similar to be in the middle kind of. So it's like Maybe the same money, even they like could even say there's the same investment in there, but it, probably not. It's probably more in sports. I, I'd imagine there is more in sports, but it, it's a wider scope and a lower, uh, like you know, base and stuff. And if something does peak, like it really does peak, like it's the thing. But in Pokemon, it feels like it's a smaller scope and it's more realistic, like it feels like it's more predictable, it's more. Yeah stable I, I don't know what the word would be for it it's it's like less like you don't have to guess and gamble on this like you know if something's special right that's the best part about it exactly i love that and aspect it, of pokemon and it may always be special and nope. sports i don't feel as confident that that's the case i remember it was one of my special one of my, cards drop yeah exactly it was one of my spicy comments one time that sports cards are like gambling and yeah, the Pokemon cards are more like stocks or something like that. But yeah, yeah I saw, I saw Dak sports cards anonymous. I saw, I, I saw Dak um, talk about a, a sports card last year. I mean, it's probably a year and a half ago now. It's, it was a while ago and he, he was talking about how it just like, died like the guy got injured and it just plummeted and it was one of the the highest ones you know it was one of the most expensive ones currently that was happening in the current set and i don't remember yeah. thinking like that just can't happen with like there's no situation where that happens in pokemon like if the pokemon isn't going to get injured like it, literally it's just not a thing it's just, just two very different minefields that, that that we're wading through there yeah but it's interesting that's part of the fun right is is figuring all that out and you know seeing that what are other people doing you know what's working what isn't and stuff yep um if you could yep. start a business inside of the hobby with cards doesn't have to be pokemon but as we just talked it probably makes the most sense what would it be and why hmm it's it'll probably be what's in my head and which would be just buy a bunch of each set and just sit on it at a certain price until it sells. Pretty passive very, and not 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 so very simple, very passive, but also once it's go time, it's go time situation. Yeah. What have you considered that? What's what, where's your head at with it? There's a couple different scenarios. So one's one one is my retirement goal, which is to have like a small little card shop after I retire and I'm financially free and I don't yeah. need money. It's more so just to go do something every day and have fun. That that's one goal. Um but a more other goal, like if I needed to like replace my salary with something what could i do that with to start up starting a business and a hobby the passive one would be nice but you'd have to buy a shit ton of passive stuff like you gotta be like that's a long ways out so that like um obviously if money was no object yet yeah, that's the easiest one just to buy stuff to put it in the shelf and then let it let it make me a lot of money money is the key for that yeah yeah so that's that's tough so i i would probably i don't even know um I wrote this question, but I don't have a really good answer. Um maybe we flip it. What what should we not do? Because in my in my mind right now is the singles market. I've tried these past few years on selling singles through eBay, through uh, you know, TCG play and all this stuff, and I'm like, I just can't seem to make it special yeah like it just doesn't kick up a notch where i'm like this really makes sense for me to invest this time into it it just doesn't like 
produce enough. There's too many people. There's there's too much competition. The prices are too low. The the overheads are too high. Like it just doesn't make sense. And with what we you know we're talking about the passive aspect of just buying boxes, whether it's ETBs, boosters, bundles, what like whatever, like all the different variation there is, the margin is higher, even if you have to wait and set it for a little bit. The, there's a margin on it the, and the the time investment the ease of access is way lower yeah singles is not it so if we flip the question like what would you avoid because for me it would be the single aspect i'm not buying no roca machine i'm not doing all i'm not doing all that it's too much it's too much yeah i think a lot of my own business live streaming and ripping and selling singles would be kind of brutal. Just the thought of replenishing that inventory at that insane pace. But I guess, I guess any business that you're not just hodling sealed and having that go up any portion of business in the hobby, you're going to be to, to maintain like my salary. I'm going through a lot of shit. Like it doesn't matter if it's live it doesn't matter if I'm just buying singles from card shows. Like, I'm going every day. Like, I'm, it's a lot of, it'd be a lot of friggin' work. Um, and it doesn't seem feasible at all, to be honest. Um, I don't know what business would make me that money. So I'm probably Pins. stuck until I retire. What? Just do what OSP did, right? Pins. That's where it's at. Yeah, pins. Yeah. Pokemon pins is where it's at. I, he had to have sold out of those and 3x his money guaranteed. Well done. Yeah. That's good shit. For sure. A um, couple more topics here. Um, I don't know if you saw it. Pokemon's not the only one having a having an event and experience right now. Um, not everything is. I feel like Lorcana still is not boom it's not booming like pokemon i feel like and i don't can't speak to one piece i feel like it's not really booming like pokemon is and marvel slash magic the gathering had their event or uh secret lair that i mentioned last week showed the pictures of some of the stuff and they had an absolute catastrophe online sold out instantly uh, they had estimated only 50,000 to 100,000 units were even produced, which could you imagine that in Pokemon? A secret Pokemon release, 50 to 100,000 units. Yeah. That's selling out in like fractions of minutes. Like, yeah. New Pikachu special Nintendo crossover with Zelda. Mm -mm. Not even, it don't even touch the internet. The freaking bots bought that shit up quicker than. The, but that's the key aspect too, right? Is like what it is. It's not yeah. just the fact that it's the new release and it's like. Exactly. It's like, that's a, Magic the Gathering, the Gathering pairing it with Marvel. That's a big deal. Exactly. Should have been printed demand, which it was not. So very much anticipated in that aspect. Like printed demand makes a lot of sense. Yeah, have a cut off. Yeah, have a queue. Like whatever it is, but there were people in that queue waiting for a while, trying to get in, trying to buy whatever. Catastrophe. I, I mean, how was that not anticipated to be massive? Crazy. And we'd been talking about it for months. That we didn't just find out that that we that was known about for months and months. I'd heard people, and I'd been talking to people about it for a while. And rumors, and you know the rest of it, and, it, and, and this this should have been should have been a pretty cool week for for those people trying to get in. I couldn't yeah. even get in. I, I would, for whatever reason, wouldn't even let me join the queue. I, yeah. I I was on a struggle bus. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I would have um, loved to. I didn't even know about it. I didn't know when it was dropping. I knew about it, but I didn't know about it. You know, um, I would have loved to have gotten them at the cheap price and then graded some. Yeah. Now it's all secondary market, and I'd rather there's other things I can buy in the secondary market. I don't think I'm all set. Yeah, this this 
there's cool stuff in it, and it reminds me a little bit of the Lord of the Rings situation. But I feel like Lord of the Rings situation is there was some stuff that was obtainable for a little while there. It felt a little bit more uh, grabbable. This just felt like, I mean, it was like whistle in the wind. Just it was, <laughs> it was gone. Yeah. Yep. It was pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yeah. And who doesn't like Marvel? Like, there's always some Marvel character someone loves, you know. There were some. There's some sick cards. Like the Iron Man card looks sick. There was some. There's some cool cards that I wouldn't mind grading. I think. I think opening, just the, the real simplistic aspect of it, just opening some of that stuff before you even think about grading and making money, that would have been a fun set to open. Really yep. fun. A, yeah, a I lot like of, their street. A lot of I think it was a Street Fighter crossover. Yeah, Street Fighter. Those were pretty sick too. I enjoyed playing that game. I never was good at that game, but some pretty nostalgic for some of those characters, like the green looking goblin dude and stuff like that. Yeah, they do they yep. do some sick crossovers. Hopefully they don't do Hello Kitty like uh like Matazu and Yu-Gi-Oh! Thought they would do. Is Yu-Gi-Oh! really doing that shit? I haven't seen nothing on that. Did it? It was done. They did it with McDonald's. They did. They did. Hello Kitty, Yu Gi Oh plushes. Yeah, those aren't cards though, so I don't give a fuck. Nobody still, really cares. They still, they still tickle the little fancies. They... Come on, not hardly consider that Ugh. anything. Ugh. McDonald's, anything right now is just me no. sick. Hey, heads up, real quick. This this isn't on the list, but Roku. You know Roku that does does like the TV situation yeah. thing with all the apps they have a channel dedicated to anime and they have a whole day each week where they just play Yu-Gi-Oh! all day so that's pretty cool a roku is like the roku stick right you, you plug it into your not smart tv to make it intelligent i think you can get one my tv is actually a roku tv yeah, it's like integrated in, inside it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So like when you turn yet. the we turn the TV on, it's not a TV. It like loads up all the Roku shit, and then I have to click it to PS5, and then I turn the PS5, and I do what I actually want to do. But on the yeah. PS on the on the Roku thing, like there's a bunch of stuff on there, and I guess there's a Roku channel that I discovered, and it has like Yu-Gi-Oh Day. You can just watch Yu-Gi-Oh the whole day. I just don't know. So that was pretty cool. Hmm. That's cool. Little, little deal going on. I didn't realize they were still making episodes too. There was some new episodes in there to advertise in. Yeah, there was like very new. Yep. Show it's still cooking there. Yeah. They have a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh set coming out like now, uh, and it's got a bunch of vintage cards, reprints. Like, it is gonna freaking moon. Like, yeah, I'm excited for that set. That'll be cool. Oh, wait, they are reprints so much, though. What is that? What's co- like, how, s- how many dragons do we need? Yeah, I don't know. But they're, it's crazy. Like, the even like if you max rarity, like a current modern deck, 10 grand. 10 Gs for cardboard, not graded in a deck. We're, we're making money, though. Like playing it? No, not usually. No, oh, that's that wasn't what I was expecting you to say. No, Yu Gi Oh is dark. You don't make fucking money playing Yu Gi Oh. Um, even the prize cards, Google's. prize cards are cheap. Like it's crazy. No. Oh. Well, people just love the game, and I respect the living shit out of them. And maybe we should end on that, guys. If you are not in the Oak Slab Discord, that is the uh, the Green Shares on Professor Oak Discord uh, right there, you need to hit the link below and join it and wave, say hi, post your collection pictures, talk to people, interact, give a thumbs up, use emojis, use GIFs, whatever. Just get involved. We want you in the Discord. We have a lot of people in there. It's a lot of fun. A lot of discourse. It's 
interesting. It's exciting. We love it. So get involved. Before you finish this video, hit the thumbs up. Hit the comment section. Leave your comment for some spice for next week so we can talk about it if you win. We do also collect the ones that don't win, and we do a little conversation on those. So that will be up and coming soon. Uh, but also don't forget to hit a thumbs up on the ones that you do like. Read through the others, get involved, and get get active. Well said. Everybody, you have a good day. Enjoy your Thursday. Peace. See you guys. Peace. <laughs>